Hello, my loves. Welcome back. Today is Thursday, January 5th, 2017. Happy New Year. I am so glad that 2016 is over um, and that I can start fresh with a lot of things for 2017. Um, gonna be doing just a quick update. Gonna be doing some videos on various things. Right now I'm trying to come up with content and so the month of January will be videos on various things. What it will not be on most likely is gardening. One, it's winter here in Virginia and two, there's no sun on the patio. I get no sun. I'm not going to ever get any sun on the patio. And so um, I'm thinking that I'll do some cooking videos or at least some videos on what I ate for the day. Um, especially since I'm getting ready to go through a cleanse pretty soon here. Sewing videos, quilting videos, um, and overall just vlogs of my day, my life, my thoughts my walk with God, whatever the Lord leads me to record. That's what I'm going to do for the month of January as I try to consider what I want to do for the entire year if I want to stay on that course or if I want to go to something more specific like quilting only or sewing only or you know what have you or if I just want this to be a vlog about me in general which would include all of that and more. But today's video is um, on an ironing tip. So I got a new iron. As you know, everything is in Texas. And so after we got moved and I had worked on some quilt blocks, I realized I didn't have an iron. So I had sat here and sewed for like hours working on these quilt blocks. And then I needed to go iron my seams and all that jazz. and. I had no iron to do it so I went out and bought an iron and it's an old iron old-fashioned iron it's not old it's a brand new but it's an old iron like I remember this iron from this type of iron from when I was a little girl um, the difference in this iron now is that it has an auto shut off which is amazing there's a light that comes on here so you know that it's on and then if you leave the iron on, it will automatically shut off. Sorry about that. I thought I heard something. Um, it'll automatically shut off for you. So I love, love, love that because I had one about 11 years ago. And the reason I got rid of that one was because I can't tell you how many times me and the kids walked out of the house and I had left the iron on totally forgot like there was no light to let you know that the iron was on oh yes it was it was it was a light on there but it was on constantly and then we'd come back from wherever we had been and then i'd be sitting there and look over and realize oh my gosh i left this iron on and we had um two dogs we had a cat and all i could think was what if the dog bumped my ironing station or what if the cat jumped up on the ironing board and knocked the iron over it would have been over but praise God none of that happened and I got rid of that iron and then I bought a super expensive iron like I'm not even gonna tell you how much I paid for that iron I will tell you it was over a hundred dollars but I won't tell you how much I paid for that iron um, because it had the, the legs where it would automatically stand up once you let the handle go. It had the automatic shut off and so on and so forth. Um, and that's not what this video is about, but since I'm talking about irons and ironing, I'm going to talk about it all. Um, the thing I did not like about that iron, I loved the iron, but the one thing I did not like about the iron is it's automatic shut off because it would shut off. And then it would take forever to heat back up. And once it got heated back up, the heat was amazing. But it was just that time period of having to wait for it to warm back up or heat back up. And then I could get going. 
So, um, that was the one thing I didn't like about that iron. I still have that iron. Um, there's another thing I didn't like about that iron is after a time, um, I would put water in my iron and notice that I would iron my fabric in one particular time. It was a cream colored fabric and I ironed my fabric and when I look back, there were these brown spots all over my fabric and I could not for the life of me figure out where these spots came from. I looked at the bottom of my iron. There was no brown spots on the iron, no rust or anything like that. And I, I couldn't, like I said, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out where this was coming from. So I began to iron an old sheet to try to figure out where the stains were coming from. And then it dawned on me, I had put water in my iron. And how many of us put water in our iron and then when we're finished with it, we empty it out? I don't know too many people that do that. Maybe there are some OCD people out there that put the iron, the water in the iron, use the iron, pour the water out, and leave it to drain so it's fully drained. I don't know. I'm not one of them. So, um, when I got this iron, um, it does have a hole for you to put water in. It does have steam. However, I decided I'm, I'm not going through that again. So, what I did was I got me a water bottle. And this was over in the laundry section at Walmart. And it says ironing spray bottle. Now, I do need to go get another one. But, however, this one strictly has water in it. I know there's a, a big bottle of that a big blue bottle of stay flow starch that you can get and it's concentrated so that you can add water to it so I need to get another bottle and I need to get some stay flow starch so that I have my starch because I left Walmart without starch got an iron got an ironing board got a spray bottle no starch but this one is strictly for water and so when I'm ironing if I need steam I lightly spray whatever it is I need steam on and then I iron it and voila there's the steam what I don't have to worry about is there will never be water in here so there will never be a chance for this to rust there will never be a chance for rust stains to come out of here that's not gonna be one of my concerns this time and so I don't have to get rid of my iron until it is just so dilapidated that it doesn't work, period. Um, so that is my tip, and that was the whole reason for this video. I know I talked about irons and all that jazz, but that was the tip I wanted to share with you. If you're going to iron and you've had that experience where you get the rust stains from the water being in your iron, just get your spray bottle, and it doesn't even have to be this big. Get you a spray bottle, put some water in it, and when you go to iron, spray your fabric, your shirt, whatever it is you're ironing, and then iron it, and you will have steam to iron your clothes. Hope that tip was helpful, and I'm going to end this video because it's definitely longer than I anticipated it being, um, and I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. We'll talk later. Bye.